Hey, welcome to today's episode of Piano TV. It's nice to see you. It's been a really long time. Happy 2023. So for those of you who are subscribed to my mailing list, you will have heard from me throughout 2022. For those of you who just subscribed to my YouTube channel, that's totally fine, but it would have seemed like a much quieter year to you because I wasn't posting as much on the video end. I was, however, doing quite a few things. So what I'd love to do with this video is just share a few of the things that we did in 2022 and I want to share some of my ideas for what 2023 is going to look like with this channel and onward. So in 2022 I did a bunch of webinars. I do monthly webinars right now where they're free to attend. You just have to register. I do them on Zoom and I'm doing them on a variety of different teaching topics and I'm always open to suggestions. So if you currently watch my webinars or you have suggestions on any topic that we could deep dive for that sort of 45 minutes to an hour mark, let me know. Uh, that's pretty much how I decide what we're going to be talking about. And I really like doing webinars as a way to teach because it is teaching. It is, it's sort of like um, a hybrid between the kind of private teaching that I used to do and uh, lecture. So I think they're, they're really fun and useful. They're also much more accessible for me to do right now with my crazy schedule. I'm going to university, I'm a musician, I'm teaching these classes and so on. I'm a parent. Uh, so life is in a stage of, uh, it's very packed right now and probably will be for the next couple years. So one thing that webinars allow me to do is plan something out, sit down, teach, share the recording and move on with my life. It's simpler in format than creating a video because creating a video like this entails some type of planning, which I would have to do anyway, but then editing, uploading, um, doing the YouTube thumbnail, all of these things. It's fine. It's just time consuming. I don't mind doing it, but it's very difficult to especially create long form content without having a lot of time. Whereas a webinar, we can get into something for an hour. In a video like this, 10, 20 minutes is kind of what we're looking like in terms of the labor involved with editing. But one piece of good news going forward in 2023 is I've been talking to the editor, Logan, who I used to work with for a lot of the like hundreds of piano TV videos we've done. Uh, the last couple of years, we've sort of taken a bit of hiatus. We've both gone on to do our separate things. Um, he's doing his art stuff. I'm doing my teaching stuff like with Complete Piano Path. But uh, we do want to create some videos again this year, especially some of the, the deeper dive ones. So one that we'll be planning on doing this year is a brief history of blank. I'm not going to reveal that, but we'll do another history video and probably a few peripheral ones related to that. Um, aside from just update content or um, the the explanatory type content where I talk to you and share some things with you we want to create. Um, because he's, he's a fabulous editor. He takes the stream of consciousness stuff that I submit and he adds pictures and makes it uh, fun and engaging. Um, none of that is me and I am not, that's not my skill set. So I'm really happy that we'll be collaborating again for 2023. Not sure how many videos we're going to do. So don't, um, we're probably not going to go too crazy. Again, to balance with uh, everything else in my life, I think maybe you can expect around one a month, but we'll see how it goes and we'll see how hardcore we're going to be with the videos that we choose to make. So digressing a little bit, 2022 did um, the webinars. I also want to mention if you want to join any of these webinars, I don't advertise them on the YouTube class or on the YouTube channel. Um, you do need to be subscribed to my mailing list because that's just the easiest way for me to reach out to you. I just send out an email and say, hey, here's the next webinar, join if you want. Um, whereas creating videos to tell you about my webinars would kind of defeat the purpose of doing the webinar, which is saving time and teaching in an efficient manner. So please do that. Uh, I'll leave links for all of that below. I've also been just continuing the Complete Piano Path, uh, filling, filling out those classes. So Complete Piano Path is something I started in September-ish, October-ish of 2020 in the pandemic. And it was a result of thinking I needed to do a beginner piano class that would take someone through all the steps of learning piano right from square one. Uh, it took me a while. I, I sat on this idea for several years. I knew that I wanted to do a beginner class, but I didn't exactly know how. And with big creative projects like this, I find lots of time to marinate and contemplate to be really useful. So anyway, I created Complete Piano Path A and it's uh, it went well. I've 
run a lot of different iterations of CPPA, and that's a 20-week be beginner class. Um, then that evolved into CPPB, the B-level class, and then grade one, uh, and now I'm working on grade two. So over the last couple of years, these courses have popped up. The A and B courses are 20 weeks-ish each, so together they take about a year to do. And then after a year, you're at a grade one level, we spend about 30 weeks there. Then we do grade two, spend about 30 weeks there. And what I really wanna do going forward into 2023 is a grade three level class. For people who have been taking these classes, you might remember that I mentioned that I would at least go to grade three. My plan was, okay, if I'm going to start a beginner class, I'm going to commit to this for several, several years. I don't wanna just do like one or two beginner classes and then leave everyone like, okay, what do I do next? I felt that in order to actually be useful it needed to be over a, like a pretty significant span of time so if someone wanted to start right from the beginning they could follow the lessons for for years and get to a point where it, at the very least they've achieved some competency so the way i was thinking about it i want to at least get through the entire beginner level of piano which encompasses a b grade one and two pretty closely following um, major music schools, the way they do the grades. And then I thought, okay, we should do, I really just want to teach a grade three class. So I thought that was a good place to reconsider if this is something that I want to keep doing into the future. Cause the more I do, the more classes I have to teach and the busier it becomes. And then all of a sudden it's a question of, can I teach that many classes at the same time? Right now I'm juggling five different classes and that's the most I've ever done before. Fortunately, I've streamlined a lot of the processes involved in teaching these classes. So that doesn't feel I feel like I could handle a few more classes on top of that. But um, there is a point in the future where uh, I have to start asking questions. Do I need to hire another teacher? Well, I have another teacher in the forum who's helping with a few things here and there. Um, but do I need someone to, to help uh, give feedback? And all of a sudden that becomes a little bit of a logistical headache. I don't really want to hire people if I can. I just want to, like, I like the sort of, smaller indie style. I don't have a desire to make a bunch of money or anything. I just like um, what's manageable and what's fun. And I am worried that if I start going past the grade three level, all of a sudden it becomes less manageable and maybe less fun. So the idea with complete piano path classes is I wanted to create something that was going to feel sustainable for many years if I wanted to keep doing it for many years. So I have a lot of questions to answer about how that might be possible. This is getting into a lot of brainstorming. I'll probably do a future video on my other channel, my musings Alicia Marie channel, where I just talk more about life stuff. Um, I have a video in the works where I talk a little bit about uh, my business decisions, specifically non-growth business decisions. I know that it's a uh, if you have a business, you gotta grow it. You gotta like improve your metrics and your numbers and hiring and outsourcing and ah, all these things. I don't wanna do any of that. I don't really care about, uh, I, wanna, I wanna maintain. I like where I'm at. I don't really care about growing it too much. I don't wanna hire people, etc. cetera. So I, I will have a longer talk about that. Um, maybe I'm not a good entrepreneur that way, but I think um, balance in life is important and it's hard to achieve when one is very, very busy. So speaking of very busy, the one thing that I did in 2022 and one thing I'm going to keep doing in 2023 is go to university for non-music stuff. Just for the record, I'm, I feel like, you know, I'm kind of in the music world already. I've kind of spent a lot of time here, uh, many, many years, in fact. So I'm feeling a, a deep desire to branch out into the humanities, do a lot of reading and writing. Um, that's been going really well. Again, that's something I'm going to talk about more in depth on my personal channel. If you care at all, totally fine if you don't. Um, and I also released an album in 2022. That was fun. Um, Dear Disaster, it's a Criminal Kid album, the second album I've ever released, and the second one in a decade. They were released exactly a decade apart. So age 25 for the first one, age 35 for the second one, and I'm looking onward, uh, so what might come next? And I moved. So I'm in a new space. I have a new piano. You can kind of see it behind me. I just got started with it a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a Kawhi 701. CA701, something like that, and it's uh, really quite lovely. It's sort of a pseudo upright electric thing. I've been looking to upgrade for a long time and I've been saving for it for a very long time, so I was very excited to, uh, to finally um, pick that up. You'll see it in some future videos, I hope. So in 2023, if you wanna stay up to date on the webinars, like I already mentioned, join my mailing list. The other thing you'll want to join the mailing list for 
is to receive updates on any courses that open. So if you're curious about joining our courses, um, they're pretty fun. Again, it's, it's basically just me. I make videos, I record things, uh, I have lessons, I have lesson plans and checklists and weekly assignments and pieces to practice. And we do this all as a group and we do group feedback sessions which are live and I play people's recordings and I give little um, critiques on them basically uh, it's a and then I, my friend Anna is also helping this year do feedback in the forum so uh, I'm not totally alone but it's pretty much a, an Alicia project so if you want to get in on that it, it is really fun I think I know I'm totally biased I'm the person running it hey guys it's so fun um, but there's last year over 200 people were enrolled in my classes and I think that um, one thing that's really really cool to see is some of the people who were taking my grade 2 class have been in the classes since 2020, since A. So it's cool seeing people's evolution in the long term. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. Like, if you go to um, pianotv.net slash PTV school, it'll show you the A, B, grade one, and grade two uh, classes that I offer as a grid. And you can sign up for a wait list for any one of those. Please join a wait list if you are interested in taking a class because you're gonna get a better price. Um, I really want you to get that better price. Uh, so make sure you do that. Um, yeah, and then if you wanna just in general stay connected, uh, again, I'm planning on doing about a video a week here. There's my mailing list. You can also go to my personal website, Alicia, that's not my, that's not my URL, Allie VB, I think. I think. I'm really second guessing this all of a sudden. I'll leave a link. I think it's allievb.com and you'll be able to access my blog, which is where I'm going to post just more personal stuff. Um, I also have my personal YouTube channel where I post things like what I'm thinking about, what I'm reading, university, all the non-piano related things that I do. And um, I guess I have social media channels that I pretty much don't use, so I apologize for that. Maybe I'll try using them in 2023, but I'm an old millennial lady. I don't know how to keep hip with the, the TikToks and things like that. And I don't think I want to, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change my mind on that. Anyway, um, if you have any ideas for videos or webinars, please let me know. Like I said, I decide a lot of content based on what's recommended to me, and I would love to consider it. I hope you have a great start or have had a great start to 2023. Looking forward to seeing you again later this year. Bye.